Good morning, good morning. How everyone doing today? God is good and God is good all the time. I'm here to with y'all spirits I'm here to give y'all a lot of shout news on today. Um, Tyler gonna be a black woman escape from being held captured for a whole month. Now, um, how um Kansas Kansas um city police had ignored the warning of a, a serial killer. You know, had targeted black women. You know, until one escape. You know, so he was targeting black women. And they they ignored the issue. You know, until this one black woman. There was a white man held them capture until one black woman had escaped. And they say when she escaped, she had changed all on her. They said, <clears throat> they said she better had any clothes on. She she knocked on someone's um the neighbor's door. To, uh, to help her, you know, they hurry up and call 911, you know, and she said she was captured, she was held up for a whole month, and then he, um, uh, she said he killed some of her friends that was with her, you know, so a black resident in Kansas City, Missouri, said the police ignored a warning that a murderer was targeting black women until one of his capture, you know, escaped earlier, you know, in this month. Now, she was 22 years old, a black woman, and uh, at Scooter Spring, you know, just outside Can Kansas City, said she broke free. You know, she broke free from the basement. She said she was, so she was in a basement, you know, where a white man held her capture for a whole month. And she wasn't by herself. She said they had other people there. Her friends were with her. You know, she witnessed him. Them got killed. You know, so she she told everything that went on that whole month while she was in that basement. She also claimed there were more victims. You know, all of them was black women that who were similarly sexual abuse. You know, um, Timothy um, Hadley Jr. is now in a police custody, uh, facing rape, kidnapping, and resolved charges prior to his arrest. You know, so they have him in custody right now. You, you know, to have him in custody now for all these uh, for all these charges. You know, he's facing rape charges. You know, kidnapping a charge, assault charges. You know, so they charge him with all these things. So Kansas City Police Department say concern about the possibility of serial killer. There were completely unfound rumors that this speak to, you know, to the um to the violent silence of black women you know so they're saying you know uh they ignore the one inside and they treat the violence as in silence you, you know until this one black woman had escaped you know to tell her her side of the story you know that that would happen that what this man had been doing you know so specifically of the black community you know at a large you know here in kansas city you know, said Mine Sorrell, founder of the um, black-led um, newspaper, Kansas City Defender, which reported on the missing, he reported on the missing black women. You know, so they constantly were having, like, missing black women, but it was being ignored, you know, until they had this black woman, thank God that she escaped, you know, to tell the whole story of what's really going on that they actually was being missing and captured, you know, and being, 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 um, still being in the basement, you know, for a whole month, you know, so this is ongoing. We have cases back in the 90s, you know, where black women, you know, have been murdered and no justice, you know, uh, excuse the director of the black, um, women, the lay group, real, um, real justice, you know, violence, on October the 7th, you know, 22 years old, Missouri escaped from a white man who she said held her capture in his basement, you know, for nearly a month, whooping her, whooping them, torturing them, raping them, and repeatedly the women flee and knock on a neighbor's door for help. You know, after the man left, see what see what, what happened, the, the girl said, after he left to go bring his, his son to school, now he got his son living there. And how he he got all this stuff going on and got a son living in the house. She said when he went to go bring his son to school, that her, her opportunity to flee, you know, from out that basement. 
You know, so she knocked on the neighbor's door for help after the man left the house to take his son to school about 7.30. You know, she finally heard a young female. So she heard people out there, you know, and so the woman was nearly naked as she pleaded for help. And she had duct tape. She had duct tape on it. She, you know, she stated other black women got killed and they were being um, disappearing in September. You know, possibly by a serial killer. You know, she been had sexual violence and abuse, and uh, and now justice. You know, I mean, this isn't a police, but violence were allowed to continue. You know, by being ignored. You know, that just like that just like with children. When children do something, and you don't whoop and you don't tell them nothing, they're gonna constantly keep on doing. It. You know, and that that's how that's how it is when things when things happen. And it get ignored, it gonna keep on happening because they figure nobody don't care, you know. So uh, we all care about anyone, any color, not just only black. We all care when somebody goes missing, you know. But specifically when a black woman goes missing, it, it constantly being ignored, you, you know. So we have to. We have, we have to really look into all of these situations when someone comes up missing. You, you know, we, we cannot I ignore, you know, because a lot of people, uh, they could have been saved. Lot, lives could have been saved. You know, it took this black girl bravery, you know, to flee, you know, to tell the side of the story, to break that chain of what this man was doing. You know, constantly talking to black women. You know, and we all have to be strong. You know, you got to find ways to break that chain out of certain situations. You know, she saw a way out, you know, and she broke free to tell her side of the story. And because if she wouldn't have broke free, it this cycle would have just kept going on and on. You know, and justice needs to be done, you know, for the women that was captured in that basement and for the ones that life was taken. You know, so that's all the short news I have for you on today. And I'll see y'all on the next video.